Hello friends, this is Mark from Lil Quick Reviews. Today I am going to review some items that I bought for a project of mine. Since I am an avid technical person but also a father of two kids, I always try to combine my technical interest with my desire to create something fun for my two boys. I created something that is called a phony box, a free open source refit music box project, that has a close, but even better functionality than the famous tiny box. The phony box was a fun project and I hope you will like the project as much as I did. My boys love it as well. You can find the list of parts needed below in the description. Let's start however with a little bit of explanation. Maybe you are already familiar with the Raspberry Pi, a small card sized computer that you can realize many projects with. The Raspberry Pi is the ideal choice for any beginner, expert or tinkerer to realize his projects, as it's cheap in one time and running cost, yet highly performant and highly modular in all its potential applications. One word of advice before getting into it, technology and your own projects are all about fun. If you are sincerely enjoying to learn something new then success follows. You at no point need to be a programmer or IT professional, your interest and effort is sufficient. I need to stress this, because people tend to forget that these projects need to be fun. Let's have a look on how it works. The idea behind the concept is, that our children can choose to let their music play on the phony box by placing RFID tags on the reader device. In order to achieve this, we have the Raspberry Pi as the processing unit in the center, as well as a power supply, the RFID reader and of course the speaker. That's it, easy as this. For the basic setup, you will only require the four items that were mentioned. 1. A Raspberry Pi. 2. Speakers for the audio. 3. An RFID reading device. 4. A power supply. This is the most basic addition of a phony box, but you can easily tune and customize your phony box like I did. I 3D printed the casing, painted it in a hydro drip style and added some buttons. You will not need this, but it will greatly increase the visual aspect of your phony box and your children will love it. For your convenience I'll review the items in detail because I was very content and thought I might share it. Concerning the core part, the Raspberry Pi. It is more or less a no-brainer. The Raspberry Pi is the heart of this project and your starting point into realizing great many things. Just please make sure that you choose the correct version. Your best pick for the phony box is the 3B model, because it is well balanced in performance, heat production and power consumption. Depending on the resonance for this video, I will consider benchmarking the Raspberry Pi versions and their applications. The next part on our list represents the power supply. Honestly I have to tell you that any quality power bank will possibly do and that the one here that I recommended is just one amongst many that would work. Please absolutely consider a power bank, as it keeps your project mobile and not wire bound. As an RFID reader I took a very simple one that costs only little money and it performed very good. Please make sure to take one that uses USB and that you might need to open it adjusted for the fitting. For mine, I had to remove the annoying sound generator, that gave off a beep when booting. I also had to tear it down in order to make it fit in, but it was no problem at all. Now for the audio output. I prefer to use here speakers that I connect to an audio card on the Raspberry Pi, but you can as well easily use an USB speaker. It doesn't really matter that much, but I find the speakers that I use to be cheap and also easily mountable to a case. I hope you are already pumped to start out, but in order to keep this video short, I will cover the next steps in another video. I do this in order to give appropriate focus on the assembly, as I hope to reach also people who are new to technical stuff. Phew, my first video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and hope to see you again for the next video.